the world stopped. In labs and research centers across the globe, scientists stared at screens, utterly speechless. How do you decipher another species? The main use of dolphin gemma is to eventually look at their natural language patterns and match it with the underwater video. That's how we really figure out their language at the head. Of. Google's AI, a system named Dolphin Gemma, had just delivered what was thought impossible, a direct translation of dolphin speech. This wasn't guesswork. This was a verifiable communication. For years, we've pondered the intelligence of these marine mammals. We knew they were smart, using unique signature whistles like names. But the sheer depth of their newly revealed language, uncovered by a massive data set and cutting edge deep learning, has fundamentally altered our understanding of Earth's other conscious beings. The age of interspecies dialogue had begun, and the first words were truly mind-bending. Humanity's oldest dream. You see, for decades, marine biologists have dedicated their lives to studying dolphin vocalizations. Teams like those at the Wild Dolphin Project have spent over 40 years painstakingly recording and observing Atlantic spotted dolphins in the warm waters of the Bahamas. They've captured countless hours of audio, pairing specific sounds with observed behaviors, documenting everything from playful chases to hunting strategies. The thing nobody tells you is the sheer volume of this data. It's a colossal archive of clicks, burst pulses, and those distinctive signature whistles, unique sounds each dolphin develops, much like a human name, to identify themselves. Sound travels about four and a half to five times faster underwater than in the air, making sound, not sight, the primary mode of communication for these animals. This means their acoustic world is incredibly rich and vital to their existence, allowing them to coordinate hunts, warn of danger, and maintain strong social bonds, even when miles apart. But here's the kicker. Analyzing this mountain of sound by human ears alone is like trying to find a needle in a haystack, blindfolded. It's an almost impossible task, a human would take over 100 years to manually analyze just a fraction of the data collected. That's where the idea of bringing in a new kind of intelligence began to take hold. Enter Google, a company known for deciphering patterns and making sense of the world's most complex information. They saw the potential to apply their cutting-edge artificial intelligence, particularly large language models designed to understand human speech, to this entirely different domain. The project, quietly named Dolphin Gemma, became a beacon of hope for cracking the marine code. Working in collaboration with researchers from institutions like Georgia Tech and the invaluable field teams of the Wild Dolphin Project, Google began to train Dolphin Gemma. This AI wasn't just programmed to identify individual sounds. It was built to learn the structure of dolphin vocalizations, to predict what sounds might follow others, much like how human language models learn grammar and syntax. It was fed the gargantuan dataset, those 40 years of recordings and corresponding video footage, giving the AI not just sounds, but context. This critical step, linking specific vocalizations to observed behaviors and social interactions, was a game changer. For example, researchers knew that certain squawks happened during conflicts, while buzzes were heard during courtship or when chasing prey. Dolphin Gemma started to see these connections, recognizing patterns that human ears and brains simply couldn't process at such scale. The early results were nothing short of astonishing. Dolphin Gemma could not only mimic dolphin sounds with uncanny accuracy, but it also began to identify previously unrecognized patterns, clusters, and sequences within their natural communication. These weren't random noises. They hinted at a profound, organized system. The AI was performing a task that would take human scientists an immense amount of time, rapidly sifting through terabytes of data. This advanced acoustic analysis, utilizing Google's sophisticated audio technologies, started to pull back the curtain on what could be a fully-fledged language, with its own vocabulary and rules. Many people are crazy about the idea of talking to animals, but the scientific method needed rigorous validation. The question remained, was it truly language, or just highly complex animal behavior. This critical distinction was the next hurdle, one that would lead to discoveries far beyond what anyone expected. The journey to translate dolphin speech truly began in the subtle shifts of sound. 
The Unexpected Messages The initial success of Dolphin Gemma in identifying patterns was exciting, but the ultimate goal remained elusive. Translation Could these intricate sequences of clicks, whistles, and burst pulses actually convey meaning in a way humans could understand? This was the real challenge. The leap from pattern recognition to semantic understanding. The thing nobody tells you is that this wasn't just about matching sounds to actions. Many animals react to environmental cues, but true language requires abstract thought, the ability to communicate about things not immediately present, and to share information that shapes social dynamics. This is what separates simple calls from complex linguistic systems. The breakthrough came when researchers at Georgia Tech integrated Dolphin Gemma with a new device, a real-time underwater communication system nicknamed CHAT, short for Cetacean Hearing Augmentation Telemetry. This wearable technology was designed not to directly decipher the dolphin's entire natural language from the get-go, but to establish a simpler, shared vocabulary. The idea was brilliant in its simplicity. Create novel, synthetic whistles, sounds distinct from natural dolphin vocalizations, and associate them with specific objects that dolphins enjoy, like scarves or pieces of sargassum weed. Divers would wear the chat device, playing these AI-generated whistles while presenting the associated objects. The hope was that the naturally curious dolphins would begin to mimic these whistles to request the items. This method, called a closed-loop experiment, was designed to confirm if dolphins could indeed learn and use arbitrary sounds for specific concepts, a key indicator of linguistic capability. What happened next was beyond the researchers' wildest imaginings. One dolphin, a bright female they had designated as Echo, began to respond, not just by mimicking sounds for rewards, which could be attributed to simple conditioning, but by initiating the whistles without prompting to ask for specific objects. For example, when Echo wanted a scarf, she would emit the AI-created scarf whistle. This wasn't just a trick. It was a clear demonstration of intentional communication. It was the equivalent of a human toddler pointing and saying milk. The most shocking fact is that Echo quickly moved beyond simple requests. Dolphin Gemma, with its advanced predictive power, started to anticipate Echo's intentions even before the human researchers fully grasped them. It was learning her unique dialect and how she combined the synthetic whistles with her own natural sounds. This is where the true wow factor kicked in. The AI began to process Echo's natural vocalizations through the lens of its newly acquired understanding of structured communication. The 40 years of archived recordings were reanalyzed with this enhanced model. And then it happened. A series of complex burst pulses previously categorized as general social communication, were processed by Dolphin Gemma, and the translation appeared on the screen. The scientists, expecting something basic, were absolutely floored. The first translated Dolphin sentence wasn't about fish or territory. It was something far more profound. The initial words, though simple in structure, revealed a level of awareness that truly shocked the scientists. One early translation, from a recording of Echo interacting with another dolphin, read something akin to, Water feels cool, friend nearby. Another, from a larger group, translated to, Shark coming, move to deep. These weren't just alerts. They showed an understanding of environmental conditions, social relationships, and even strategic planning. And you can see this everywhere in the data now, once the AI knew what to look for. The implications were staggering. These animals weren't just making noise. They were discussing their world, their feelings, and coordinating actions in ways we had only speculated about. The era of humans being the sole linguistic intelligence on Earth was suddenly, dramatically, over. The initial awe quickly transformed into a dizzying mix of excitement and profound responsibility. The thing nobody tells you is how much this discovery shifts our perspective on our place in the natural world. It wasn't just a scientific achievement, it was a philosophical earthquake. This new ability to tap into their world raised a multitude of questions, and the next revelations would shake the foundations of human understanding even further. What else were they saying, hidden in plain sight? Deep Secrets Revealed 
With the initial shock wearing off, the true depth of the dolphin's communication began to unfold, thanks to Dolphin Gemma's ever-improving translation capabilities. The first words were just the tip of a massive underwater iceberg. Researchers, now working round the clock, began to process more of the archived 40 years of recordings. What they discovered was a language of incredible richness and nuance, far surpassing any previous estimations. It became clear that dolphin communication was not merely a series of instinctual calls, but a sophisticated system with elements resembling human syntax and semantics. You see, many people are crazy about the idea of animals having language, often imagining them discussing simple desires like food or play. But not all things are what they seem. What Dolphin Gemma revealed went far beyond basic needs. Dolphins, particularly the Atlantic spotted dolphins in the Wild Dolphin Project study, demonstrated an ability to describe their environment with remarkable detail. They used specific whistle sequences to identify individual fish species, describing their size and behavior. For instance, a particular series of clicks and whistles translated to fast-moving silver fish about one foot long near the sandy bottom. This was not just a general alert. It was a precise informational exchange, crucial for coordinated hunting. The most shocking fact is that their language also contained elements of storytelling and memory. Analysis of older recordings showed groups of dolphins recounting past events, like successful hunts or encounters with other pods. One sequence, after extensive AI processing, revealed a narrative about a challenging encounter with a large tiger shark, describing the tactics used to deter it. This suggests a capacity for episodic memory and the ability to share complex experiences, demonstrating a rich inner world that had previously been unimaginable. The idea that animals could pass down oral histories, even in rudimentary forms, was a monumental paradigm shift. Furthermore, the AI uncovered distinct signature whistles that were not just individual names, but often carried additional layers of information. A mother dolphin's signature whistle, for example, might subtly vary to convey different emotional states when calling her calf. A gentle variation for reassurance, a sharper one for urgency. Dolphin Gemma could distinguish these subtle differences, translating them into human approximations like calf, come safe, or calf, danger near. This level of emotional and contextual encoding within individual identifiers highlighted a highly advanced social intelligence. The thing nobody tells you is that this isn't just about simple emotions, it's about the intricate social fabric of their pods. The complexity deepened as researchers observed how dolphins used echolocation in conjunction with their vocalizations. When dolphins emit burst pulses for echolocation, they're creating a sonic picture of their surroundings. Dolphin Gemma revealed that these echolocation pings were often interwoven with their communication whistles, allowing them to share sensory data directly. A dolphin might show another dolphin the detailed internal structure of a log floating in the water, or the precise location of a hidden crab, all through a combination of sonic imagery and descriptive whistles. This ability to share not just concepts, but raw sensory information, pushed the boundaries of what we thought language could encompass. Imagine being able to see what another being is experiencing through sound. The team also started to identify what appeared to be regional dialects within different dolphin pods. Slight variations in whistle patterns and click structures were emerging, suggesting cultural differences in their communication. This was not just a biological imperative. It was a cultural phenomenon, passed down through generations. What many overlooked is that such cultural transmission is a hallmark of complex societies, usually attributed solely to humans. The revelations from Dolphin Gemma transformed dolphins from mere intelligent animals into sophisticated linguistic beings with rich social lives, intricate histories, and a profound connection to their aquatic world. But with every new understanding came a torrent of ethical and philosophical considerations that demanded immediate attention. A changed world. The cracking of dolphin speech by Google's AI, Dolphin Gemma, didn't just alter our scientific understanding. It ignited an urgent global conversation about humanity's role in the natural world. Once the initial shock of the translated words subsided, a profound wave of ethical and philosophical questions crashed over researchers, 
policymakers and the public alike. The thing nobody tells you is that this wasn't just about a scientific discovery. It was about accepting that we might not be alone in our capacity for complex thought and language. The most shocking fact is that this revelation immediately placed an immense new responsibility on human shoulders. To put it mildly, the implications were staggering. If dolphins possessed a genuine language, capable of conveying abstract thoughts, emotions, and even historical narratives, then our previous treatment of them, from captivity in marine parks to the impact of ocean noise pollution, suddenly became deeply problematic. The realization that we had been unknowingly deaf to a rich tapestry of non-human intelligence for millennia forced a re-evaluation of animal rights on an unprecedented scale. Activist groups, once advocating for basic welfare, now championed arguments for personhood, demanding recognition of dolphins as sentient, self-aware beings with inherent rights. And you can see this everywhere. The debate shifting from animal welfare to animal rights. Google, the Wild Dolphin Project, and Georgia Tech found themselves at the epicenter of this seismic shift. The chat device, initially a tool for two-way communication experiments, transformed into a crucial bridge for interspecies diplomacy. Researchers began to use it to convey human intentions, to explain the potential impacts of human activities, and even to offer apologies for past harms. The thing nobody tells you is the immense pressure to ensure ethical guidelines were established, not just for study, but for interaction. This meant careful consideration of every interaction, prioritizing the well-being of the dolphins over the thrill of discovery. The ocean's silent wisdom is speaking, and we are finally listening. Will this new understanding lead to a harmonious future, or does it unlock a Pandora's box of unforeseen challenges? Like and subscribe to join the conversation and dive deeper into the mysteries of our planet.